You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back to Works Wednesday. So we've talked about faith and good works. We've talked about the bound will and good works. But we haven't talked about kind of what is a good work. The law tells us what a good work is. The law is not a bad thing. Well, it does three things, right? The, the law is a curb. It's kind of like a, I don't like calling it a curb because people jump curbs all the time. It's like a baby gate. Law is baby gate. You know, you put the baby gate at the bottom of the stairs so the baby doesn't crawl all the way up and then fall and like hurt himself or herself, you know, the, whichever type of baby it is. And the parent doesn't put the baby gate there because the parent hates the baby. They put it there because they love their baby. And God gives us the law because he says, hey, I don't want you to do certain things that could really harm you. Now, do we receive it that way? No. Why? Because we're sinful. That gets to the second use. The law reveals sin. Remember in our hymn, we say the law reveals the guilt of sin. It shows us that, hey, even though we may not think we're that bad, the law comes and says, ah, yeah, you are. And you can't do it yourself. You can't save yourself. You really need someone to do this for you. And Jesus does it. He keeps the law perfectly. Remember, he says, I came not to abolish it, but I'm going to keep the whole thing that in me, everyone may have salvation. So second use, it reveals our sin. It's that mirror. Or I like calling it a scale because in a mirror, you can always think you're good looking, but a scale doesn't lie. It's like, yep, yeah, 250 still. It's fun times. <laughs> that was a little inside knowledge there about me. Um, but then the third use comes up. The third use is, or third function, is it is a guide for us. Some people call it a rule or a guide. When we want to know what a good work is, we don't come up with them. We don't try to create good works. God has already given them to us. Like it says in Ephesians 2 verse 10, that we may walk in them. So when we have a question on, well, how can I be a good husband or a good wife? Well, we go to the sixth commandment to live a good marriage. I want to know how to be a good student. How can I be a good student? We go to the fourth commandment, honor father and mother. That's not just our mom and dad, but any authority. How can I be a good neighbor? Well, we go to like the ninth and 10th commandment or the eighth commandment. We don't talk bad about other people. We don't steal their stuff. We don't get mad at them and hurt them. How do I love God? Well, we have those first three commandments, that we have no other gods, that we use his name in a good way, and that we hear his word gladly and learn it and don't despise it. So the law is not a bad thing, but a good thing. Even when it's hurting us, even when we hate its voice, it's still doing good work for us. And when we look at the law, we see what a good work is. Now we know these good works in our vocation as well. How I love my neighbor, if I'm a husband or a wife, a dad or a mom, a son or a daughter, a teacher or a student, a boss or an employee, how do I live this holy life? Because I want to. Faith wants to. We want to live this good life. And God loves us so much, he says, you know what? Do these things. But he also gives us the law for good works because man can try to come up with good works that God has not said are good. Remember Luther in the Heidelberg Disputations when he said, a theologian of glory calls a bad thing good and a good thing bad. But a theologian of the cross calls a thing what it is. So sinful man outside of the law will come up with good works that he thinks are good. And God comes and says, no, that is not good. You're, you're allowing sin to determine it rather than my word. So let us thank and praise God that he's given us that law to show us what a good work is. Not to earn salvation by it, but because we are saved, knowing God has already given us this out of his mercy, so that we never have to contemplate and come up with good works. They're already laid out for us. We just walk in them according to the grace and mercy of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So God bless you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.